All right, once again, taking a look at the weather pattern. Remember, we had a big ridge of high pressure over us last week, and that was the, the warm air centered across southern Idaho and actually all of the northwest. That ridge has retrograded or moved to the west, and it's down over the Pacific. That's allowing this colder northwesterly flow of air coming in. That's drying your air out, cooling it down, and here comes the moisture to follow. And as I mentioned, some of the moisture will follow into central Idaho and southern Idaho, but a portion of this moisture is going to go down and take up the southern route. The storm system will split. It won't get as Organized and so just light snow for central Idaho. Computer charts the last week were showing about a half a foot, six to eight inches of snow with this storm system in the ski areas. It now looks like two to four inches of snow. And probably closer to the two to three inch range uh, from this system uh, now. And so the bottom line is that the system won't be as strong as this pushes on through. So let's take a look at the charts here and it shows again one or two inches up here, maybe a little bit more than that for the ski areas. Bogus Basin, a couple of inches. The Treasure Valley, we'll talk more about this, a little bit of light snow, especially in the Western Valley. Now when it pushes ahead, this computer model is the European computer forecast. This one stayed very consistent all through last week on what was going to happen this week. So I want to show you this computer forecast model. It doesn't show a lot of snow. It had showed upwards to a foot of snow through the week. This is Thursday and it shows with that second system coming in on Wednesday just a few inches of snow and then we go into Saturday. It's showing four to eight as opposed to close to a foot of snow. So showing less snow, but the other computer forecast, long range forecast, the global forecast system is saying even less than this. But here's the difference. This chart after Saturday, watch these numbers just skyrocketing up into the 20s here as total snow accumulations. The global forecast system is not even saying much of any snow next week. So the bottom line is there's a lot of variability in the computer models. And so that means uncertainty. We'd love to see this come through, but it's probably not going to be this much. It's likely to be somewhere in the middle. And so when we take a look at the two computer charts here, again, we see about four to six inches of snow through this week. That's it in the ski areas now. And then it diverges where almost nothing falls in this global forecast system. But the European computer model showing up to 22 total inches. So as we get closer, I'll try to unravel the details for you. In the meantime, this is what could happen tomorrow near Ontario, Weezer, some icy spots, potentially slick spots in the morning. And then we'll tend to warm the pavement up as the day goes on, but it's going to stay near freezing, if not below, and it'll snow a good portion of the day in the Western Valley, while Boise will have maybe snow and rain showers turning to snow showers and then back to rain showers later in the day. And as far as the Sun Valley forecast is concerned, you take a look at the numbers here. Not a lot of snow, but a little bit of snow coming in on Wednesday and maybe a little bit more snow coming in on Saturday and Sunday. Quick check of the Treasure Valley forecast for tomorrow. The blue represents snow, and so I do expect snow showers and then mixing with or changing to rain, depending where you are. The Western Valley will probably stay colder longer. And then it'll be milder in Ada County eastward where we'll have more likely rain showers. The Boise Mountains likely to see snow showers a couple of inches, maybe one or two. Again, one or two inches of snow, about an inch and a half in the McCall area for tomorrow. And the Stanley Sun Valley area, we see temperatures staying in the 30s. Most of the snow showers will be north and west towards Stanley with Sun Valley maybe getting a few flurries. Here's the extended forecast now. It shows the rain showers and snow showers for tomorrow. We get to 40, dries out Tuesday, rain showers Wednesday. And then it gets colder with a chance of some snow showers on Friday morning. And so this is something to watch as those low temperatures drop down again and a chance maybe for some snow showers on Saturday. We'll have to see how that weekend pans out. But right now, not a huge storm coming in, but definitely a change in our weather pattern.